Welcome everyone to my very first Unreal Engine tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically bring this 3D model in here. And uh, later on we are going to make a pawn of that car and uh, we can just go ahead and drive it. So here I'll make this just a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, this is what we're going to do later on so we can just drive it. And uh, I might have given it way too much power, so it just slips. Okay, so you get the idea. That's what we'll be doing in this video. So to bring any car into Unreal Engine, it first needs to have a bone system. So that is exactly what this car has and uh, for the purpose of this video I will be doing a different car and uh, I found a really really good plugin for Blender that lets us do that basically 20 times faster. Okay so this is the model that we'll be bringing into Unreal and uh, this right here is the plugin that we'll be using to do just that and what this will allow us to do is basically define a body and define all the four wheels so uh, afterwards this is going to allow us to add the bone system with just one click instead of having to select the wheel adding a bone then adding it to a skeleton mesh okay so uh, let's do that let's assign these so for the chassis i'll be using this wheelbase and the sorting goes like front right rear right front left rear left now that I have assigned everything in here, what I'll be doing is set this unit scale. And uh, this now made everything just way, way too small, as we can see by the lines of the grid. And uh, instead of just rigging the vehicle right now, we're going to have to upscale the object first. So now we can see the grid actually shows us some squares in it, which is a good indicator. So all that's left for us to do right now is to rig the vehicle. And immediately we have a slight problem. The bones are facing the wrong direction. So for a bone system to work with Unreal, these bones have to be facing the left direction. So let's quickly fix that. And uh, the way I'll be fixing it is by just rotating this car into 90 degrees like this. I hope this is 90 degrees. And uh, just hit this rig bones. Okay, and there we have it. So you can just make sure that it is working if you just rotate one of these bones and you can see the whole entire wheel is rotating okay now we're done with blender and all that's left for us to do is to go file export as a fbx file so save it somewhere into your computer before exporting we need to make sure that the add leaf bones is unchecked and we need to make sure that the smoothing is set to face so after making sure that those are set to correct you can export it and now you're done with blender so you can just go ahead and close it okay so here i got my 3d model imported inside of unreal the first thing that we're going to do in order to make this work is open up this physics asset so what do we want to do we in here we want to just delete everything that we see in here and we want to go in options show all bones so for the root bone what we want to do is we want to disable the outer orient we want to change the primitive type to single or we can do just box that will work as well but i am going to do this into single hull and i will create the collision box okay so here's my collision box for the body and now let's create some collision for the wheels so for the wheels we are going to change the convex hull into sphere and we are going to create the collision okay so here is our wheels and now we're done with the collision so we're going to hit save and we're going to close this window okay so the next thing that we're going to need is a animation and to do that we are going to go over to animation click animation blueprint and in here we are going to select our skeleton and select vehicle anim instance so hit ok and call it something like animation after creating it, we are going to open it up and into our anim graph, we are going to search for some nodes. So the first node that we are going to search is mesh to space ref pose. Next thing that we're going to search is the wheel handler. Okay, now 
we are just going to connect these uh, nodes and we are good to go. Okay, so uh, our animation is set up correctly. So we want to hit compile, hit save and close that window. The next thing that we're going to need is some wheels. So we're just going to create a blueprint class. We're going to search for wheel and in here we want to select wheel. Okay, so for now I just created Huracan wheel front and I will create one more and call it Huracan wheel rear. So we need the both wheels and inside the wheels we want to select the wheel front and we want to uncheck affected by handbrake. Hit compile and close the wheel. Okay, now let's create a pawn and what a pawn is is basically a actor class that can be possessed. So we're gonna hit blueprint class and we are going to search for wheel. So this is the class that we want to select and we're gonna call it something like Huracan Pawn. So inside the pawn we want to select our mesh and we want to select the mesh that we just imported. So here it is. The next thing that we want to do is use that animation that we just created. So we're going to search for that animation and select it. Okay, now we are done with the mesh. Now we're going to go over to vehicle movement and in here we're going to change some variables. So in here we're going to see wheel setup and inside we're going to see four wheels. So for the front wheels we are going to search for Huracan front wheel and for the rear ones we obviously want the rear one. Okay, after having selected that we are going to have to pass in our bones. Obviously the 0 and 1 are the two front ones and the names are front left and for the second is front right. Then for the rear ones we want to select rear left and rear right. And we want to obviously disable steering. Okay, so now we have just set our wheels and uh, now let's create a spring arm and inside the spring arm we are going to put in a camera. Okay, let's lift it up a little bit. So now having our pawn selected, we want to auto possess it to player zero and down here when we see our input, we want our input to be player zero as well. So we're going to hit compile, hit save and if we bring our pawn into our scene, we should have this thing. Okay, now let's handle some inputs and to do that we are going to search for forward input and we are going to search for right input. And this is extra, we can add a look right and look up function. So I'm going to do that as well. And now let's make these work. So uh, we're going to drag and drop our vehicle movement component somewhere in here and we're going to search for set throttle input. We're going to connect these two and now we have a throttle input. Now let's search for a steer and we're going to do the same thing for this steer. And this is the extra bit. We gonna, we're going to get our spring arm. We're going to search for add relative rotation. And in here we are going to feed these two. Okay, so if we hit play, we are getting a weird error. And if we turn right, only one of our wheels is turning. Okay, so the problem is that into vehicle movement, if we look into our wheel setup, we're going to see that our bone name for the first wheel is not spelled correctly. So the correct way of spelling it is supposed to be front left. So we have front left, front right, rear left and rear right. This is the sorting that Unreal likes to use. So do that, don't forget to compile and save and then if we hit play again we should see everything working perfectly fine. Okay so that's all I have prepared for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from it and uh, this is the first video that I've ever made into Unreal Engine. I will of course be making more videos into Unity as well, so thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.